what's going to drive this storm. Welcome to Geography 377, a course that's helping students track Hurricane Ian. I try to bring in real world weather events every class. We have a, a weather briefing to kind of start and introduce the students you know, to the flow of the atmosphere. That's the eye of this storm. This class introduces students to kind of the, the physics of the atmosphere and how air moves and flows and the processes and hazards that exist as a consequence of, of both weather and climate. Dr. Michael Allen had no problem holding students' attention as they learned what's driving the storm that's pounded large portions of Florida. I, it's cool that I get to like learn more about it um, while also learning like about meteorology in general. What caused this? Nature. What? Nature. Nature? But more specifically, what was it, the heavy rain? When I wake up, I kind of look on the news and see what's going on with the hurricane. But then once we get into class, we kind of go more into the, like the science of what's actually happening. We go through all the models and forecasts. The timing is perfect. It's very exciting. Um, we're, you know, tying that into what we're learning. We're starting the basics and kind of getting into it from there. It's weather forecasting in real time for students working toward a minor in climate, weather, and society. It's a course that's academic, but for one student, also personal. I have family down in Sarasota and friends in Fort Myers, and you know, I've heard from them. They're okay, but you know, sporadic. They don't really have power or really anything going on down there. In spite of the timeliness of this course and the storm, students can still expect an exam on what they've learned about the weather. On the campus of Towson University, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.